He said, he said, when I was young, there were some things that for me were very important. And there were other things that didn't matter at all. Then he said, now that I'm old, and as I say, he was in his 70s, now that I'm old, those things that seemed very important to me then don't mean so much now. And the things that didn't matter at all have become the most important things of all. And in that context, again, I think when we're younger, at least I speak for myself, and I definitely speak for myself, the big thrust was publications, results, get things out, research, funding, push. But gradually, I think progressively over the years, I find while well, these things are important, but they have a place. And the, the challenge is to make sure they don't take first place. Because if they take first place, life is out of balance. In the last analysis, and I'm not sure how some folks in the university might respond, our primary objective here is not to do research. The university is not a research institute. It's a training place. It's a place where people come to think and to learn and prepare for the future. And research is a means to accomplish that, but it's only a means. It's only one means, there are many others. So I think at the end of the day, especially when we're younger, is to try to analyze what are we really making our priorities in life? What are our priorities? Because that's what will demand our attention. And we have to be careful what these priorities are. And as life goes by, I think perhaps naturally we'll become maybe better aware of what's really important. But the sooner we can realize that, I think the better. And as a little aside, when I left academia to go to industry, it was in a sense a turning point because when I was in academia, I had this desire, well, I want to have the top steel-making group in Canada, which was a very self-centered position. And it was becoming all-consuming and family was becoming less and less of a part of my life. When I left university and went to industry, it was a totally different environment, a totally different set of goals and objectives. But it helped me to get rid of that perspective where work had become my God. And I say that deliberately. Work had become number one in my life, and that was my God. When I came back to academia, I did come back with a different perspective, having spent time in industry. And I think, looking back, that had a big influence on in how I then subsequently worked with people. People are far more important than papers, and relationships between people far more important than results. Not to say that papers of results are not important, but to try to get a perspective most important of all are people. And that within the university really is what we're involved in is people. I used to say a little bit kind of lightheartedly, but what truth is, DeFasco's motto was, our product is steel, our strength is people, mm -hmm. DeFasco would say. Lovely motto. I used to say here at Toronto, our product is people, their strength is steel, but the emphasis is in people. I think I would stop at that.